Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a super hot jet torch, easily and for around 5 bucks. So a few days ago, I was looking online and I found a video showing how to make one. Uh, I wish I could remember the video, it's not my history, but if I find the link, I'll throw it in the description. Anyways, I made it, and it was alright, but I decided to modify it and make it like a real jet torch, like the propane ones you can buy. And uh, let me tell you guys, this thing gets really hot. Let's get to it. Alright, this build is very easy to do, and uh, all you need is some rubbing alcohol. I'm using 70%, but I'm sure 90 would work also. Probably better, actually. Uh, some 1 inch PVC pipe. I found that about 4.5 inches is the right length. Also, a small nail and a clothespin to help hold the nail. A screw of some kind. Three tea light candles, as well as one piece of a regular candle. I'm using about an inch, but really any length under about 5 inches would work. You'll also need a surgical needle or some very small tubing of some kind. If you guys could see my workshop right now, I swear you would think it's some kind of drug laboratory. I've got all these needles, candles, and torches lying around. It's crazy. Um, anyway, finally, you'll also need two cans of your favorite soft drink. The first step is to take one of the cans and also grab a glass, because we need to pour the liquid out. Now grab your nail and clothespin and carefully make a hole right below the rim of the can. The soda will start spraying out, so quickly put it into the glass. To get it out, just shake it and the carbonation will pressurize the can and send the liquid spraying out. Now you should be left with a still sealed empty can. Alright, now let's set that aside and grab our other can. Now just go ahead and rip it in half. Now just cut it roughly in half uh, using a knife. Now take one half and cut two squares out on each side. This will give our candle plenty of air so it can burn hot. I'm using these lines right here as guidance. Make sure not to cut the top completely off. It should look like this when you're done. Alright, now let's grab our tea light candles. Now, the video said to only use one candle, but when I tried this, it gave me a really small flame. So, how can we fit three candles into this small space? Well, to answer my own question, here's how. Take the three candles and take them out of the metal pieces. Now, pick two of the candles and take the wicks out. Now, take the third one and grab a screw. Then, start carefully making a hole about midway from the center and the edge. Be careful not to split the candle. Now make another hole on the other side, then grab the two other wicks and poke them through the holes, then put the metal piece back on. Now we have our three wick candle. Next let's grab that piece of PVC and our fourth smaller candle. Now push the candle into the PVC. I use some tape to make for a good fit. Next grab a strip of tape and attach the PVC to the can like this. Now don't worry, this part of the can won't get hot because it's not above the flame, so it's okay to use a little bit of tape here. It should look like this when you're done. Now let's grab that rubbing alcohol and our needle. Just fill up the needle and squirt it into the can through the hole. I did about two needles full, but do as many as you want. This gives a whole new meaning to a shot of alcohol. Now we're ready to use it. All we need to do is light the three-wick candle and put it into the can. Then light the smaller candle up top. Now grab your other can full of alcohol and push it onto the first can. Make sure the hole is facing directly towards the candle like this. Now let's wait a bit till the alcohol boils. As you can see, it gives off a really hot jet flame. This is different from just lighting the alcohol. By vaporizing it, we can pressurize the can and force it to shoot out at high speeds and get this super hot jet effect. A lot of science going on here, guys. As you can see, it looks very cool, but watch what it does to a piece of soda can. It turns red hot and melts within a few seconds. Now I spent a total of $5 on this project and I'm very happy with the results. It lasts for a pretty long time, and all we need to refill it is another shot of alcohol, and it turns up again. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. Also, Facebook and Instagram links are in the description as well for those who care. So that's about it for today, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.